in Grasshopper window, in the main menu bar under File, you can find Special Folders option with the several sub-options. So the Components folder, Settings, User Objects, and Auto Saves. Let's start with the Component folders. In this folder, as, as you hover over this sub-option, you can see some explanation open up and it says open the folder that contains third-party component libraries. So here you would find and you would have to store most of the Grasshopper plugin files. Of course there are certain plugins or, or add-ons that have a different way to be installed. So when downloading uh, additional plugin, uh, you, you should read the installation manual, but most of them would be stored here. Uh, and as you can see, I already have one that I use for teaching. It's called Bifocal. You can find all of the or most of the plugins for Grasshopper and Rhino at foodforrhino.com. So you can see I already opened the, the page. And as you select a particular plugin, you would have to log in, create an account, and then you can download a specific plugin. And as you can see, some of them has some video tutorials, maybe. You can also read, read reviews or ask questions here. So all this is at Food for Rhino. And another um, link I want to show you is Grasshopper Docs. So this is the documentation, community documentation for Grasshopper add-ons and plugins and uh, i like this one because uh, I, I guess it's more convenient to see categorized plugins from from the community and you can just scroll through them and just check out whether there's something that you might find useful so there are a lot of areas where grasshopper could be applied. And let's say if you find the one that you consider to be useful or interesting, and here you can see all the components within the plugin with a short description, maybe even some tutorials, and you can also download it. The last link that I want to remind you about is the most important one, and it's the McNeil forum. So here you can find a plugin referenced in relation to the specific topic or an issue. This is very useful. Um, of course, you can also create a topic uh, by asking dire directly for such reference. I would always advise going through the existing conversations first, but anyhow, searching in the forum is the most effective way to find a plugin that would suit you best. So the next one is settings folder. We are not going to be discussing it here since it's for more advanced users and for the beginners I do not recommend making a lot of changes there and the autosave folder so let's click on the autosave now and this opens folder with your backup files under file preferences um, files here you can also see where the autosave files are being stored 
saved. So let's now go to users objects folder. So this one contains your personally created customized uh, grasshopper objects. You can also store here objects created, customized by other people. So it's very similar to the plugin components um, that we have been discussing just before, uh, but it's not quite the same. So let's now try to create our own custom users object. Let's go to params, input, click, drag and drop number slider. I think this is going to be the easiest way to show you the example of creating a custom object within Grasshopper. Let's double click on it. And let's say we can here change the name of the slider. Let's say even integers. I already know what I want to do with it. So I want to select even numbers. I also want to change the grip style to the one that I like the best, so it's box and text. I will choose the minimum value to be minus 10 and the maximum 10, so defining the range. And <clears throat> so imagine that there's a certain type of number slider that you are using most often and you just um, want to create this like a template object so that you don't need to make these same adjustments every time you uh, call this number slider and let's click ok and so we have it let's now select this object go to file and choose create users object user object small dialog box opens up and here i can again change the name now my current name Set to the nickname, let's change that. I'm using control C, control V. I will just leave here even. I can make a description, or maybe the nickname doesn't, it's not necessary here. I can say even integer. box grip so even integers number slider box grip category users subcategory i would say um arounds. and then i can choose an icon so the current icon and if i click here left click you can see some icon variations. You can also click here to show icon library. So here are a lot of icons, but these are the ones that uh, already been used. Uh, click escape to close it. If you, if you create your own icon, you can find it over here clicking OK and as soon as I did that in the component palettes you can see the tab user and if I click click there you can see my newly created custom number slider um, yes one more thing just a side note under file you can choose to see a ribbon layout or uh, displayed as icons. So sometimes, um, maybe in the future, when you are more advanced users and you have more um, component palettes, it's easier to, to see icons since the names would not be fully visible. So imagine if I have a lot of them they start to be like this just the first letter um, there is uh, also another way that as a beginner 
you could also create a user's object and that is by creating clusters but we're going to be talking about this in future tutorials see you then